video basic numbers we learn about fractions also learn about decimals let's learn some more important mathematical engineering vocabulary let's take a look at this 3 plus 7 minus 2 equals 8 now in English this is an equation and that's because all the things on the left of the equal sign equals what is on the right. So 3 plus 7 minus 2 equals 8. Look at this. V equals L times W times H. This in English is a formula. Let's look at the parts of these formulas. Each letter, V, L, H, W, represent a word. For example, V means volume. L is length, H is height, and W is width, and are variables. What that means is they change to the situation. And if we're measuring something, these letters will change depending on the measurements. So why do we need formulas? Well, formulas help us find the area or the volume of things. And when we talk about area, we talk about squared measurements. So we have a small number two that shows us that a number is square. So we can talk about square millimeters and square kilometers. Let's have a look at an example. So let's take a look at this. This is a rectangle and we want to know the area of the rectangle. So we're going to need two measurements. We need this measurement which we will call the length and this measurement which we can call the width or the height. The formula for a rectangle is the length times the width or the height. We write this formula like this, A equals L times W. Now we need to have our measurements. So let's replace some of these letters with some numbers. Let's say the length of the rectangle is six millimeters and the height or the width is four millimeters. So now we have area a equals 6 times or multiplied by 4. The area is 24 square millimetres. This would be the same if the measurements were centimetres or kilometres. Then the area would be 24 square centimetres or 24 square kilometres. And this is how it's written. 24 with the lettering of the unit of measurement, mm for millimetre, and the small two to tell you that it's squared. Okay.